Molly is constantly changing, so let's dive deep into costs per month, food, and how to save money, internet and data speeds, locations for different lifestyles, parties, and just the general vibe in Bali in 2024 for digital nomads. Let's go. Okay, costs. Let's talk about the most expensive one, and that's housing. Now the price really depends on location and quality. Just know the further you are from Changu or the beach, the cheaper it will be. I would say you're looking at around 6 million IDR for a decent guest house in Changu, and probably looking at a 4 million IDR for a decent guest house in Karabokan. Here's my 4.5 million IDR guest house in Karabokan. It is everything I need and isn't too much money. The bathroom is huge and the owner lets me use their washing machine. All around decent stay. Let's talk about our next biggest expense, which is food. And in Bali, there are only really two main options. Indonesian food, costing you anywhere from 20K to 50K per meal with a drink, so that will save you lots of money. Or Western food costing you anywhere from 70k to 130k with a drink. Changu has way too many amazing western food and healthy options. That's one reason I love Bali. There are endless options for amazing food here. You'll definitely need a motorbike to get around Bali. Now you can go with a more budget option like me, or you can get a more expensive and cool option like this Aerox or NMAX. If you're not a confident driver, you can take a Gojek or grab everywhere. So how are you gonna do all that interwebs work? Of course you need some strong and reliable data. And I found the best provider is Telcomcell. It's about 120K for a SIM card and data for the month. Here's the internet speed you can expect on Telcomcell, average speed at a cafe, and the speed in my room, which is much faster than normal since they have a really good provider. Sometimes the internet can be a bit dodgy, but in combination with your telcom cell, you should be fine. My total this month for housing, food, internet, motorbike, and extra travel or a little bit of fun should be about not too much locations for different lifestyles. The main population centers of Bali are in the south and you can choose different locations around here depending on what you like. Changu, more pricey, parties, great western food, beaches. Kerbokan, cheaper, lots of Indonesian food, still has western cafes. Uluwatu, best beaches, best surfing, becoming more crowded like Changu recently. Ubu, yoga and healthy living, rice fields, but just as crowded as the south nowadays. North Bali, much more local, cheaper, less crowded. West Bali, Medewi, good surfing, far away from the crowds, little tourists. Okay, what about parties? Well, I haven't been partying that much recently. So let's go talk to my big party friend, Craig the Fish. Hey Craig, buddy, how you doing? Not so good, alien. I'm so hungover. Oh man, well can you tell me about some parties in Bali? So many places to go. La Favela for mainstream music and fun dancing. The Vault for house and hip hop. My favorite is Penny when they do anything at La Teresa. Wow, that sounds fun, my fish dude. Just don't go too much or you'll end up like me. Damn. Ew. Well, are there any problems in Bali? Yes, traffic, traffic, traffic. <laughs> There's simply a crazy amount of traffic in all major cities in Indonesia and Bali. It makes getting around not so quick and kind of frustrating at times when you're stuck in a small street just trying to get a coffee. There's also really no place to walk on the streets. So if you want to go walk, just go to the beach. The other issue is they are constantly building things, which honestly gets a bit annoying. <laughs> Bali will continue to be a great place to meet people and experience some amazing parties. And yes, Bali is crowded now. But you can get away from the crowds if you drive for an hour in any direction. Food is excellent here. And you can still get decent enough internet to get all your work done. Although I will say the traffic here is insane. And there are cheaper options in Southeast Asia for sure. If you're not bothered by crowds or traffic getting around, then definitely come to Bali. All around, Bali is still a great place for digital nomads in 2024. But in my opinion, it's a little bit too crowded these days. But Bali will always hold a special place in my heart as the first place I came abroad to live in Asia. And I hope you can find something special here too. All right, peace. peace. See you in the next one.